So this week, I'm reconditioning a vintage piece of Le that needs to get that out of the bottom. Hi, I'm Jed, this is Cook Culture. So I deal with consumers, my customers, all the time. I have people that come to me looking for new things, they have old things, they usually have a problem that they're trying to solve and that's why they come to me. They want to do something different or new or they want to add something and they've got questions and that's why they come to Cook Culture because they want to get good answers I hope. Uh, and that's what we specialize in is, is holding people's hands, making sure that they get exactly what they need even if it doesn't come from us. If I don't sell them the product that doesn't matter. What I want is for people to be using their kitchen gear effectively and be super happy with it. So when I had a customer who was telling me about their vintage Le Creuset 6.3 liter cast iron enameled oven and the problems that she was talking about that she had with it, it got me really excited. I don't usually help customers recondition their own cookware. What I like to do is to teach people how to do it themselves so they have the knowledge to be able to do it whenever they run into it again. But once in a while somebody has such a unique cool thing that I just want to get my hands on it. So this customer had this oven, this really cool kind of late 60s, early 70s oven, uh, Le Creuset oven, this beautiful unique teal color. Uh, and it was her grandmother's. <clears throat> it's been used a lot, as you can see. It's got some work to be done to make this thing like new. And the beauty of all cast iron, enameled or not, is that it will last for generations. So this just needs a tune-up, is all that we need to do. But what I want to do here is figure out what's the approach. So what's really interesting, this here is caked on. It's, it's hard, but it's not damaged, I don't think. I don't think it's damaged the enamel. Uh, so I really just think it's a ton of, of carbon buildup over generations of using it uh, that we just need to figure out the best way to get it out without damaging the enamel or dulling the enamel. So the options that are available to me are good old elbow grease, um, you know, using Barkeeper's Friend and starting to scrub away on it, uh, which is an option. We could also use oven cleaner, which is a decent option, but we could also do a vinegar solution and we could boil it or, or simmer it for a while and work that out. And so I'm kind of thinking that that's a good approach. Before the, the end game is using a lye bath. And a lye bath, I haven't had this yet, but I've been cautioned many times that lye can damage the color on the exterior. So this being a vintage piece, I really want to be cautious with this. So I'm kind of leaving that as my last resort, my last resort, and I want to kind of step forward here. So I am going to just give it a bit of a scrub with barkeepers just to see what kind of happens. Then I'm going to go on to the stove top here and simmer it in a kind of a, a maybe a 75 to 1 or 3 to 1 I guess 75 25 uh, ratio of vinegar to water and just simmer it and see kind of what happens after what 20 minutes of simmering and uh, then we'll give it a scrub and see kind of where we're at and then what we should do next so here we go okay chain mail barkeeper's friend barkeeper's friend in and we are just going to go to work here Okay, so that did very little, very little, and I could have kept going and going and going, and I was going to get a tiny little bit off, but uh, that's been on there for a long, long, long time. So uh, it's time for step one. We're going to do the vinegar. I think it's going to need more than whatever the vinegar is going to do. Uh, you know, maybe we'll end up doing on the inside here with the uh, uh, oven cleaner and see where that's going to go. But uh, this is some really, really heavily generationally cooked on carbon. So uh, let's see what happens with some vinegar. 
Okay, so we're starting with some water. I'm gonna add vinegar. So we're actually gonna do more, maybe more like a 50-50 mix. See if we get a little bit more. Just gonna get up and over the uh, the edges on the, the carbon on the white. And we're gonna bring that up to a simmer and then simmer that for about 20 minutes. So here we go. Entire kilo, and you extracted all of it in that process, you'd be kind of at a typical day in a North American city in terms of exposure. It's a bad compound, but the dose makes the poison. Dichloromethane became less and less popular because the name freaks people out, and there was a big push against it. Okay, so the vinegar solution has been simmering away here for a while. It really stinks like vinegar in here. Uh, but we'll see what's going to happen here. So I'm going to pull this out, pour it down the drain, and give it a scrub. I might try a little bit of barkeepers to see if that does anything, and um, we'll see. I'm, I'm not really optimistic. I don't think this is going to do much. I've dealt with this kind of really, really heavily built on carbon before, and all of these moves are kind of a waste of time. Uh, so I think I'm dealing with something harsher than this. So if this doesn't do anything that I kind of don't think it's going to do much, uh, we'll move on to oven cleaner. And we'll put it into oven cleaver overnight and see where we get. And uh, then we'll examine it. I'll do a little scrubbing and see if uh, that helps. So let's get this part done. So we're, we're getting places here. It's, it's coming slowly, slowly. Uh, but you know, we still gotta do the back side. So I'm gonna take this out to a really well ventilated area and I'm going to spray it with oven cleaner that I'm not gonna show you because it's very, very simple and basic. I'm just gonna bring it out of the plastic bag once it's done tomorrow and uh, we'll see if we can get the, the rest of this off. But we're, we've, we've actually made some progress with the methods that we had. So you know what, at this point, if you had something that really wasn't as, as crazy uh, cooked on like this, you'd probably be in the right spot. Uh, Lucase has a white internal oven, so and all of their pieces, mostly, some of them aren't, but most of them are. So the staining is something that happens, and it, it's really hard to get some of that staining off. I don't think we're gonna make this thing look new, but uh, there is still more carbon in there to take off. So oven cleaner next. I'm going to do the bottom. I'm going to do the sides, not so much around the edge. I wanna be careful about dulling any of this. I don't know how durable the finish is going to be if it's gonna dull with any of the lye. Uh, so I'm just gonna go easy on that. But the inside and the bottom, I'm gonna hit with the oven cleaner. Okay, so it's the next day. The pot went into a bag with some oven cleaner overnight. And now we're gonna unveil it and see, did that do what I hope it did? Okay, so plastic bag here. Stinky, dirty, yucky. Oh, definitely looks like he's been doing something. Okay, plastic bag out of here. Okay, so there she is. Let's get kind of a close up for you in there. So it's, uh, I can see that it's soft and gooey. So I'll just reposition the camera so you can see even better there and we will uh, get it to cleaning this thing. Okay, so here we are. That guy there, definitely gooey. Lots coming off. So let's get it cleaned up and see what happens here. Okay, so good things happen to the bottom there, definitely. So that's looking awesome. Definitely took a chunk off on the inside. Definitely lots and lots coming off. So 
it's feeling smooth. We now have, I think, quite a bit of staining remaining. But all of that uh, carbon came off. So I'm going to continue to give this guy a good clean. And then we'll get it dried up and uh, take a good look at it. Okay, so there she is. Looking way, 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 way better. Like there's no carbon buildup left in here. There's quite a bit of staining, and this is really into the enamel. So it's hard to say how much more I'm gonna get off of that. The bottom is looking a lot better. Still a little bit of carbon buildup on there that I know can come off. Um, the lid, that is in good shape. It had a little bit uh, on the top of the lid, but the bottom of the lid, but the top is in great shape. So what I'm gonna do now is that, you know, we're so close. I, I don't know, we're never gonna get this thing, I think, looking new. That's just not gonna happen. Um, that's the, the nature of the, the white interior, the cream interior. But we might be able to get a little bit more off. So I'm going to do oven cleaner in this guy. And I'm actually going to put this in the oven for an hour at really hot, just on the interior, and see if that just gets a little bit more of this off and see what happens. You know, we're, we're so close. Uh, it's, it's looking great, it's super functional, way better than it was. Uh, so let's see what can happen next. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at this guy. Uh, it's all pretty cooked on. Let's see what we can get off there. I've had this cooling for an hour or so. So we're rinsing that pretty well here. Okay. So yeah, I think it's cooling, so I can I can hold the hands there. And Definitely done something. Yep. So, little rinse there. And there you go. So, yeah, things are coming. We got some deep kind of staining in there and we got some pitting and but it's it's really come come coming good so I'm gonna give it a good scrub with some barkeepers and then uh, we'll take a good look at this okay so that guy is as done as I think I can get it and it is looking much much better still got you know there's some tiny bit of carbon staining in there there's zero texture the bottom of the pan has some damage from where somebody was trying to like chisel something out at some point in time but i was trying to be very 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 careful with this pan because it is over 50 years old and i didn't want to damage the exterior which is i think a beautiful color for being 50 years old and i wanted to get this back to being usable and this is very very usable uh, this pan will now go on for another generation or two or three there's no reason for this not to go on uh, indefinitely uh, it is a perfect usable pan it's not any sort of a specific heritage piece um, but it is old and it's really unique and I think to this family that this was the grandmother's pan this has sentimental value so very very much worthwhile redoing this pan so I definitely could have gone straight to a lye bath as I talked about I think that could have damaged the exterior and that would have been really disappointing you know hey let me look after your pan for you and oh sorry i killed it uh, so i was being very careful and kind of stepped up to this process so using the oven cleaner was the win i think that i softened it all up with the previous attempts with using the vinegar solution and with barkeepers so it would have helped somewhat but the oven cleaner was a real win putting it into the oven uh, i put it in for an hour and that seemed to definitely help get that last little bit off the bottom uh, it's still got a tiny bit of staining on the bottom side that i'm being very cautious i don't want to try to work away on that too hard because i don't want to damage again the beautiful exterior so it's character marks on the bottom uh, along the edge and i'll show you here a close-up here there are a bunch of character marks all around this pan so it's been well used and well loved so I hope this helps if you have a beautiful piece like this 
this at home and it needs some love, hopefully this process will help you. So any questions, any comments, please throw them below. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.